We walk back in the end zone and give them that. Slot left. Take that ball. We run a trap to Rose, and Rose tried to hit it outside. He got close to a first down. I don't think he got it. John, what do you got down there? He's going to be about a yard short, Bruce. He's gotten down all the way to the 16, maybe 16 and a half yard line. He's going to be a yard and a half short. So it's fourth down and a yard and a half with 2.18 to play. Lebanon's used up about six minutes on this drive. The ball is on the about the 16 and a half. And they take it and they run Rose. I don't know where he got it or not. It's close. I think he got it. It's going to be another Lebanon High School Blue Devil first down. A couple of more subs now. Here we go, Tommy. 66, 71, and 2. John Walden checks in at a tackle. Scott Kaiser checks in at a tackle. And the new slot back for Lebanon is Bo Grissom. Out comes Sellers, Sanders, and Dunaway. Lebanon's triplet stays in. Lebanon... A little short on quarterbacking. Right, Jason Reeder would be next if Triplett had to go down. Sweep out here to Moss. He'll cut it in, but he won't get anything. In fact, he'll lose some. And in fact, he lost about two back to the 17. Charles Moss, the junior, trying to run a sweep and got knocked down. Lebanon's got a lot of subs in. There's only 128 to play. Coach Mark Medley is going to win his sixth straight game over his arch rivalry county team mount juliet and it's going to probably be 21 to nothing unless this second team blows i'm off the line here with only 108 to play and we run it and we fumble it but rose recovered his own fumble i think they have not used dirksen rc at fullback any tonight have they steve rose has gone all the way for the blue devils Scott Grandstaff checks in at a tackle. Out comes Kaiser in at center for Lebanon. Jody Atwood and also checking in John Oakley goes at a tackle position for Lebanon. So uh, completely. 40, 40 seconds, Tommy. And we're trying to get everybody that's been practicing for four or five weeks, trying to get them in the game. These kids wanting to play. 21 to nothing. Slot right. I set. Triplet takes it. Draw play. Moss. He got hit, got back to the 20, lost a couple of more. And uh, this clock could run out if we wanted it to. And we just got some interference run in on us, but I think the clock is going to run out. I don't think Lebanon will run another play. 21 to nothing, Lebanon. Tommy Bryant, you got it. It's counting down 8, 7, 6. Another win for Lebanon next week here, people. It's Riverdale. The final score, Lebanon 21. Mount Juliet, nothing. Tommy Bryant. Lebanon the winner by a score of 21 to nothing. John Bryan will get the interview with Coach Medley after the team leaves its huddle in the end zone. We're going to send it back to Donnie Denny at WFMQ Control for a two-minute break. You're listening to Blue Devil Football on WFMQ Lebanon. The Blue Devil Booster Club thanks the following contributors for their support of this broadcast. Beard Construction Company Incorporated, 119 Polani Circle. Claiborne's Bakery, 1019 West Main Street. David Harvey Auto Sales, 500 South Cumberland, Lebanon. First Bank and Trust, three locations to serve you, Mount Juliet, Old Hickory, and Lebanon. Kenneth O. Lester Company, Cash and Carry, 216 Hartman Drive. Lebanon Cable Vision, 223 South College. Midwest Co. Permapipe Division, 1310 Quarles Drive. Parkville Atwood Funeral Chapel, 602 South Cumberland Street. Rock 10 Company, 302 Hartman Drive. TRW Ross Gear Division. And Video Movie Centers, 1114 West Main Street. Thank you very much, Tommy. Lebanon wins tonight's ball game, 21 to nothing against Mount Juliet. Recapping the scoring, Lebanon got on the board, 11:02 left in the first half. Greg Triplett hit Demond Stone from 10 yards away, capping a 52-yard eight-play drive. Jonathan Presley with the extra point. Lebanon led, and that was our halftime score. Also, seven to nothing. In the third quarter, 145 left in the third quarter. Steve Rose, a one-yard touchdown run, 
a 56-yard, 16-play drive. Presley again with the extra point, and after three quarters, Lebanon led 14 to nothing. The only scoring in the fourth quarter, again, Lebanon with 11-16 left in the game. Jade Sellers, a 37-yard touchdown run, two-play, 38-yard drive. Presley again with the extra point, and that was our final score. Lebanon once again has shut out Mount Juliet tonight, 21 to nothing. Statistically for the game, first team statistics, Mount Juliet, 37 yards on the ground, 21 carries. Lebanon, 204 yards on the ground, 47 carries. Through the air, Mount Juliet, 90 yards on 10 of 17 passing, two interceptions, no touchdowns, 90 yards through the air. For Lebanon, 50 yards through the air, as Greg Triplett tonight was 8 of 9, no interceptions, one touchdown, 50 yards through the air for Lebanon passing. Total yardage, which Mount Juliet led at halftime, what a turnaround for the final stats. Lebanon, 254 total yards. Mount Juliet, 127 total yards, only 17 in the second half. First downs, Mount Juliet with eight first downs, five passing, three on the ground. Lebanon with 13 first downs, 12 rushing, one by passing. Turnovers, Mount Juliet turned the ball over three times, one fumble, two interceptions. Lebanon with one turnover, that was a fumble in the first half. Penalties, Mount Juliet, one for five, Lebanon, three for 20. Individually in the game, first for Mount Juliet, Stacy Carruthers, 10 carries, 19 yards. Jeff Kidd, eight carries, 23. Travis Butler, two carries, minus three. Chris Thompson, one carry, minus two. That's 21 carries for Mount Juliet, 37 yards. Stacy Carruthers passing, 10 of 17 tonight, 90 yards. No touchdowns, two interceptions, 127 total yards for Mount Juliet. Individually for Lebanon, Greg Triplett, one carry, minus six yards. Steve Rose, 13 carries, 33 yards. Tyson Neal, nine carries for 47 yards. Zach Manier, 15 carries, 75 yards. Jade Sellers, six carries, 58 yards. Charles Moss, three carries, minus three. Lebanon ran 47 uh, plays on the ground for 204 yards. Greg Triplett, a good night, 8 of 9 passing, 50 yards through the air. He did throw a touchdown, no interceptions, 204 on the ground, 50 through the air, 254 total yards for Lebanon. Tommy, a game which saw a completely different second half than we saw from the second quarter. Great effort by Lebanon as the Blue Devils take control of the football game in the second half and win by a score of 21 to nothing. Down on the field, our post-game interview, John Bryan with a happy Blue Devil coach, Mark Medley. John Bryan down here on the field with Coach Mark Medley, the Lebanon Blue Devils coach. How's it feel? Well, John, it just, uh, it's more relief than anything. You know, we uh, we have a string going against these people, and uh, I guess the longer it goes, a little more pressure you feel. But uh, we knew they had a lot of people coming back, and... Uh, you know, our kids come in here ready to play tonight, and, uh, you know, it's just a big win for us anytime you beat those people. Coach, uh, the first half, things were real tight. It was a close ball game. Uh, as far as the uh, total yardage goes, I think uh, Mount Juliet might have had us by a few. Uh, what happened in the second half to turn things around? Well, we made some adjustments at halftime uh, defensively, and, uh, you know, we came out, and uh, I think we had to drive maybe and uh, install punting to them. And on the first play, they fumble. And, uh, you know, from there, we take it in. And then they get the ball back. And then the next drive, uh, Skullroot makes the interception. And uh, I think we turned that into points as well. So the turnovers were big. Uh, the adjustments we made at halftime going man uh, helped us. And, uh, you know, but players win games. And we had some guys made some big plays. Let's talk about some younger athletes you got on this Blue Devil squad, especially in the backfield. Well, Tyson Neal, uh, you know, runs hard, uh, did a good job for us. Uh, Steve Rose is, is a good blocker and a hard-nosed runner. Greg Triplett's only a junior and has a year's experience under his belt. Uh, Zach Manier ran hard, and Jade Sellers uh, from the slot back had some very big plays for us. Coach, we, we got a great win under our belt, but uh, next week we got Riverdale. Um, you going to work them hard this week, of course? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's a... It's tough to, to say at the same emotional level. You know, last week in a jamboree, I've never seen a bunch of kids be as ready to play as ours were. And, uh, you know, tonight we, uh, I don't think we're, we're even at, at that level of emotion we were in a jamboree, and that, that worried me a little. But next week, uh, I don't think emotion will be a factor. Uh, you know, it's not really the district title on the line, but it's a leg up on a district title. And, uh, 
you know, a great ball club is coming in here with a heralded quarterback, and uh, we have every reason in the world to have a good week of practice and have every reason in the world to be ready to play. Congratulations again, Coach Medley. Uh, good luck to you next week. We'll be talking with you again, I'm sure, after uh, next week's Riverdale game and for the uh, pregame show with Tommy before the River Riverdale game. So, again, once again, Lebanon in the winter, 21 to nothing. Congratulations, Coach. Big string of victories here. Appreciate you. Thank you, John. Back to you, Tommy. Coach Mark Medley and the Blue Devils pick up the win tonight by a score of 21 to nothing. Coach Medley picks up career win number 70 tonight against Mount Julia. We'll be back with more after this two-minute break. You're listening to Blue Devil Football on WFMQ Lebanon. Best box, the whole crew's up here. A great effort by the Blue Devils in that second half as we took control, gave Mount Julia three plays in one little exchange there, and two of those were turnovers as Lebanon put the lights out on a 21 to nothing victory. Coach Mark Medley picks up career win number 70, and for a guy that's 36 years old, that's a lot of wins as a high school football coach. Bruce Skeen, uh, we have continued the domination over Mount Juliet six years now. We have uh, won every game. Of course, they had it on us there for a while. Mount Juliet had an eight-game winning streak. Yeah, this series started in 77, if I recall, and they won in 77, and then I think Lebanon won in 78, and then they had about a streak, like you said, of seven or eight games, and now we've got, what, six straight? And uh, Coach Mark Medley, like you said, hasn't lost to them. So, but next week may be even tougher Riverdale. They've got a heck of a quarterback. Brian Davis, considered by many the best quarterback in the state of Tennessee, one of the easily one of the top 50 prospects in the country. Brian Davis, big, rangy quarterback, throws well, and he's got good speed. We've seen him run track. Bruce, uh, I'm sure they'll look at that uh, game film tonight and uh, take a look at that wide set that Mount Juliet threw against us. And when we were in the zone, we had some problems against it. And they got a good receiver, Tommy, a real speedster on the outside and a good tailback. I'm not sure their names, but they got an excellent receiver and a good runner. So Davis is just not all their team. That's going to be probably the key to this district. The way it looks at the moment, that would be the key game. And I got a feeling that there's going to be folks from all across the mid-state that have come up here for this football game next week. Uh, no doubt about it, a great game on tap next week as Riverdale comes to Lebanon for a District 7 AAA showdown. Donnie, let's take one more quick two-minute break. We'll bring it back for a couple of final comments, and we'll wrap up this 21-0 win as Lebanon defeats Mount Julia.